And we're joined now by Kim Anderson, our grain marketing specialist. Kim, wheat prices fell about uh, seven cents this week. I think the question is, is the bleeding over? Well, possibly, but I wouldn't bet on it. If, if you look at the wheat market, you know, the March contract, last week I said it had support at 510, if it went below 510, which it did, but it seems to be holding and have support at $5. So next week is critical on the $5. If you're watching the July contract, it had support at 530. It's below 530, and it's closed below 530 for two days. We'll see if it goes on down next week. Uh, if you look at the, the, the contracts, Next Tuesday is a critical day. If, if March is below uh, $5 and July is below $5.30, then I think we got another, oh, 25, 30 cents down. So what's your price outlook as we get closer to harvest, say June 2010? Well, if you're looking at the harvest price, I'm gonna revert to my old uh, expected, optimistic, and pessimistic prices. Give, you know, hedge a little bit there. Sure, sure. Uh, my expected price is uh, $4.50 for the central Oklahoma in June. Uh, pessimistic, I'd say 375. That means there's about a, oh, less than a 20 percent chance that prices would go below 375. Optimistic say oh, around 550 or a one out of five chance that it would that prices would be above that. Yeah not but not great prices either way around any way you look at it. I don't think so we just got too much wheat in the bin ending stocks too high as we get to get to harvest. Right so, so what's happening in corn market there's a lot happening there as well. Oh yeah we've watched uh, corn uh, lose 60 cents over the last couple of weeks. Uh, the corn contract the March contract has supported uh, three dollars and uh, and sixty cents it seems to be holding above that you know on the report it said uh, corn's ending stocks they increased it to 1.7 billion bushels uh, the market was saying are the analysts that we needed another three million acres of corn planted this year wheat seedings were down three million acres there's your three million acres of right. corn uh, with the and additional stocks in the bin so it doesn't look like corn's going to have to go up to to buy the acres. Kim over the last two weeks there's been uh, talk that the funds were adjusting their positions what's going on there? Well if you look at the index funds by law they can only buy contracts or hold long positions uh, before uh, the end of the year oil prices had went up also by law they can only hold uh, so much value of a commodity prices had went up they had to sell their oil uh, contracts uh, the the trade assumed it, and rightly that they would come in and buy grains and so that's what they did uh, by the way they lost 1.1 billion dollars by doing that oh wow so a lot of money lost we'll be hoping to get that back soon <laughs>